So I'm probably gonna list this for $250. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. sunburn that it's bad isn't it yeah it is look at that whoo white boy look at that okay all right <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen welcome back to over the years it's your boy tim if this is your first time here i am a full-time reseller on six platforms that's ebay etsy macari poshmark depop and grailed and i want to thank you guys for joining us as per use so we are back. I went on a trip this weekend to the 100 mile yard sale. It was uh, me, Cernox Connection, and Eric, uh, the OBX picker. So Cernox and I drove down and Eric drove up. And then while we were there, we linked up with Kevin, the Commonwealth picker, and it was an absolute blast. I had so much fun picking with those guys. Um, you learn a lot. Uh, you have a great time. And it, it just, it really was amazing. You know, I, I picked up a whole bunch of treasures. So that's cool. So <clears throat> I guess uh, what we do in this sort of thing is uh, we show you guys what we got. Right? All right. Ma Dukes, by the way, is behind the camera. Shout out to Ma Dukes. How you guys doing? <laughs> We might as well start off the video with what I got my dukes. So I got my dukes this uh, Waterman's Inkwell, and it's this really pretty purple. Mm. And it's a really nice shape, too. It's mm. not like the short, fat ones. It's kind of like this. I'm, it's just a really interesting shape to me, and it's marked on the bottom. Yeah. And what's my other prize? Your other prize is cast iron trivet. Little mini ones. And I think this one is made actually, um, what's the name of the, uh, the Virginia Metal Company? Virginia Metal Crafters. Is it? Yeah. Virginia Metal Crafters. So. Mm, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. It's somewhere between, I have some mini minis. It's called, it's called the Family Tree. I have some mini minis and I have some bigger ones and then I have this size, which is cool because it's right in the middle. And my dude's rule of threes. My rule of three. All right, so let's rock and roll. So I picked up this white opalescent basket piece with the lattice. Is that how you say it? Lattice? Lattice, yeah. Look at, look at that, guys. I'm getting better with my word saying. Opalescent uh, white with the lattice edge and the basket weave bottom. I think this is made by Imperial Glass, if I'm correct. This is an interesting one, though. This lattice looks a little bit different. It's not as tight. Yeah. They're woven. It's kind of more open. Kind of like that. This is awesome, by the way. So oh, that is so 70s and 60s. This is an amber glass uh, lamp globe shade. I'm trying to figure out. I guess it sits. I, got, I think it goes like that, and it goes up into the ceiling where the screws fit in. Or it goes on a specific floor lamp that has those shades. But it's really pretty and nice details. Look at the yeah. on that one. Mm -hmm. So that'll clean up nice. And look at this, guys. I didn't find that much uranium glass. Only, only a few pieces. It was tough out there. Okay. So this bad boy glows. Yeah. Nice juicer. Pad handle. <laughs> so basically what it was like is like you just... We got in the car, we rode down the road, we jumped out, tried to get as much stuff as we could. There's so many funny sayings along the trip. It was hilarious. 
So, you know, like, it's always worrisome when you pull up to the yard. So, like, so, like, you're literally, like, on the highway. And, like, you, like, pull over to the side. And we would do a lot of, the, like, the, the creeper drive-bys to kind of, like, scope it. You can and see if it's just a bunch of baby stuff. <laughs> so, now it's like, too much pink, too much pink. Oh, too much pink. And you just, like, a yard full of pink toys and clothes. And you're just like, I gotta get out of here. But, yeah. It was, it was crazy. So, we did a lot of... In and out, jumping around. My legs are killing me. Cute little Hall China restaurant style um, creamer. If that had been blue, it would have stayed here. <laughs> Even green. But brown is not my thing. And then I got this cute little... So a lot of this stuff, I kind of like just was just grabbing stuff to bundle to like make things a little bit cheaper. But this is a really interesting piece. Uh, it's very similar to those naughty cups that we sold. It does have a number on the bottom, so I'm assuming it's made in Japan, but it's like this woman posted up on a wine glass sort of thing. It's cute. Not a wine glass. Well, I mean, like... It's almost like a shot glass. I mean, it is, but I mean, like, miniatures. Yeah, like, miniatures. Size. These are absolutely adorbs. Check this out. No, I don't think the I don't think it had a lid because there's no way you could put a lid in on that's, that. That's that's it's an, an open sugar bowl. That's an invitation for cracking yeah. and chipping. If you try to squeeze a lid in there, yeah, open sugar bowl and crema. Cute little kitties. Yep. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up while you guys are here. Also, don't forget that our live vintage sales are every Monday night at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Two weeks. Our live sale will be at 7 o'clock because it will be the second edition of the Josie Tim Ma Dukes Wedding Fundraiser. Extravaganza. Yeah. Now these are super rad. So these are cobalt blue. I guess they're coasters. From Hotel Zurich to Ascot. Yeah. So I have I saw a couple of these that have sold um not in the cobalt blue but in like a burgundy color and one of them sold for thirty dollars so that should be interesting up next we got this uh poppy trail so um metlocks uh california and the name of the pattern is happy times happy time i guess this is also a coaster probably right? What not tray coaster. Now this is super rad. So look at this picture. It has this really gorgeous finish matte on finish. it. Matte finish, yeah, eggshell finish. It's like it's it's matte, but it's still like smooth. It's eggshell. And it says member guest nineteen seventy six. I have no idea what it is. Great shape. Great shape. This needs to be colored. I mean, not colored. Cleaned up a little bit. And yeah. it is made by McCoy, the actual picture itself. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Ooh, excuse me. Then we got... This is nice. Crack a glass. Why are you yawning? Because it's 9.30 and it's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> nice crack a glass. Type vase. It is like a cowboy hat. Yeah. Blown glass on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's interesting too because it has like uh, it's dimpled on the sides. Hmm. Like, like right a here. hand, like yeah, it is. Each side is dimpled. Is that the only cracker glass you got? Well, oh. since you ask, I got this crackle glass fish. That's pretty awesome. Now I don't know who the maker is. I did some brief research. I saw some people, like, there's a lot of different ones like this. And I saw maybe two or three that was exactly like it. Um, some people said Blanco. But I don't think this specific one is Blanco. But Blanco did make some cracker glass fishes. And some people said Italy. Uh, it could be a decanter. But there's no real uh, way of telling. I, I the care for what? How you wine. stand that up? Can't wine. stand it any you other can. way. But well, what else? Are you, well, look at the. the... Oh, I don't know. What do I know? 
But either way, I mean, it's a really awesome piece. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just, you're not, have you ever seen one Twinkle lights like on that. Put a little twinkle lights in his mouth. Twinkle lights? <laughs> what are twinkle lights? Just twinkle lights. You know, they come a little strand, a string of little tiny Ooh. lights and you can get them in copper or right. white. Then I got this uh, chamber stick. And it is Hobby Land yeah. Limoges. Yeah. Very cute. Yep. So It'll clean up nice. Yeah. It'll be real pretty when that's cleaned up. I got this interesting piggy bank. And it is made in 1983. Masons, which is known for their transfer wear. Um, they did make some ironstone also. Christmas Village. The comps are all over the place on this. So, we're both shaking. Okay. You got it? Got it. All right. And then this. This I got inside a an little tiny antique shop along the yard sale route. It is this absolutely gorgeous gravy boat. It looks green in the picture, but it is not green. It is green. It's green? Oh, it's green. Very dark green. Darker green than what it looks like in the picture. Very dark green. And it is, the pattern is called Rodin, and it is made by Bishop... Rodin. What? Well, Let me see it. Look through the camera. Don't look in the hair. Okay. Rodin. Whatever. It's made by Bishop and Scomier <clears throat> in England. So I did a brief research on it after I got it. And it's I could not find this exact piece in this pattern and this color. Which sometimes I really like that. Sometimes I don't like that. Oh, this is a talk about a dwarves and I hate that expression. Sorry. But it, <laughs> this is cute. Get it from Very above. Cute. How pretty is that? Yeah, really nice shape. Uh, cup and saucer. I guess technically this is a snack plate saucer. Yeah, what can you fit on that? A cookie? <laughs> a, a, your morning biscuit. I guess so. Or a biscuit is what they call, right? You put a mint Milano on there. France. So I thought that was really pretty. And then I got University of Illinois Beerstein mug. Good. And it is made in uh, New Jersey, Trenton, USA. So <clears throat> I sold one of these Catholic University ones uh, earlier in last week for like $25, $30. And then we got this cute little picture. I thought the color scheme mm, on this nice. was really nice. But there's no maker. Right? No maker. Nice stuff. Very cute. Very cute. And then I got this <clears throat> restaurant wear. This is pretty cute. Amazing, actually, because it's a high school. Marriott. Was that what it is? Marietta. Marietta. Marietta High School. Probably Georgia. And it's a really South. interesting color, like this sort of blue and orange. Yeah. I mean, high school? And it's made by Warwick, China. Yeah, that's pretty heavy for for high school. Yeah, I mean, this is old school. Probably some sort of like... Is there a date on there? No, I'd have to date it by the marking, but it's old. I think it's 1930s, maybe. Gotta be. Oh. You guys might recognize this. We had one of these similar... <laughs> In one of our previous sales, uh, this is a more intricate one. The flower kind of goes all all stretched out a little bit more. And it is all blown in case. Beautiful dark red and black. My and high blown. school colors. North Red Indians, red and black. Fight, fight. <clears throat> and then we got this absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's a beaut. Paul teapot with the gold uh, daisy decal. Oh, very nice. It does have a chip on the inside. Oh, what, right here? <clears throat> right here. Oh, I thought that's where the spout went. No, no. Uh, oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. 
But it's a nice, clean one. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's, you can't see it. I mean, if you just, this is a beautiful display piece. It was $8. Yeah, who could pass that up? Not me. Not a hall lover. And then, yeah, I still think I can get, like, at least $30 for it. Yeah. And then we got this Amberina Swan, Swan, which I think might be made by Viking Glass. I'm not sure. But it does... Do the Amarina glow. Well, nice little orange glow on the bottom. That's really nice. Yeah. I like the way that looks. All right, then we got these two frosted uranium glass uh, dishes. I can't remember who makes these. They're gorgeous, though. <laughs> They're very pretty. Do that again. I'll get closer. There you go. That's nice, nice. Two of them. You know what, though, about these specific what? dishes? They always have this stuff on the inside. Really? Dude, I swear, every time schmutz. I find it. What is that? Some kind of schmutz. I think it's like some sort of sediment. But this might come out. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think a little barkeepers will get that out. If not, a little peek. And um, one of my bread and butter items, Corningware. Excuse me. Corn flour blue. This specific uh, pot, pot. It just pot always pot. sells. All the it time. Flies out the door. Yeah. Every time. Every time. All right. Then I got this awesome cigarette tin. Oh, I love that. That's really good. In great shape. Yeah. So cool. And it is hinged as you can see. It's tight, but it'll come open. There you go. Good shape. Very good shape. And I got these, which are amazing. I've seen these go for almost, but sometimes recently I saw, saw them sell for $50. Greyhound? Salt Greyhound salt and pepper shakers. Made by Relco. Oh, there you go. Yeah. They're absolutely amazing. Really beautiful. Super detailed. Look at the. Mm. They're really, really pretty. Oops, sorry. I almost dropped the phone. You know, you didn't almost drop it. You did <laughs> drop it. When I say drop it, it goes on the ground. This one went in my lap. Okay. Here comes the poodle. Another of those sort of. Spaghetti string poodles. This one is blue. The last one we had was black. And this also has a sticker on it, but it's gone. Ah, uh, wonder who it was. Super awesome piece. Yeah, he's cool. He's got a mustache. And a little goatee. <laughs> C'est si bon. It's my French poodle. And then another lampshade. This, this one is, is gorgeous. Uh, the color of that. It's more, looks blue blue in the camera, but it's sort of a blue green in real life. It's got the ruffled edge. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, you know what that would sit on? That, that, um, right here. Or did we give it away? The lamp that had a crack in the base. Uh, I don't think we gave it away. We put it in the other room, I think. Oh, oh well. And then I got these two city uh, plates. Or state plates, city plate, state plate. Um, Texas, San yeah. Antonio, Texas. These I got for 50 cents a piece. So San Antonio, Texas. This one was made expressly for Josk Bros Company. And it's Vernon Kilns who cold, made it. Cold still. There you go. Got it. And it's almost like a plum mm. color. Yeah, plum. Almost looks like my favorite Clarice Cliff Tonquin plum. Very nice. And here is the blue. Which is Utah. Scenic Utah. Also known as the Beehive State. The Beehive State. I did not know that. Here you go. The Beehive State. Got it. And so each of these plates will probably sell for about 20 bucks or so. How much you... Okay. 50 cents a piece. 50 cents a piece. All right. 
right, so now on to some of the other stuff. I found my first Squishmallow. So if you guys didn't know, these things are like crazy popping right now. Squishmallows. This is the Owl Squishmallow. It does have some boo-boos on it, though. But I kind of just got it to you say... You said it's not schmutz. It's no, it's like a... Uh, melt, like somebody was smoking a cigarette. And dropped an ash on him. one right there. One right there. But I got it because I wanted to finally get a Squishmallow. Eric got a whole bag of Squishmallows. But he, he let me get one, so shout out to Eric. Thank and he let you get the owl, everybody's favorite. <laughs> um, all right. So I also got a box of men's Burberry cologne, still sealed. Yeah. That what? That's popular. I don't know. Was... We're gonna run up the flagpole and find yes, out. See who salutes. I also got this vintage uh, Mickey, or Mickey, well not Mickey, Um, I guess it is Mickey technically, it's right? Mickey, I would yeah, say. Mickey's Christmas Carol, but it's goofy. Oh. <laughs> but he's playing one of the characters from the Christmas Carol. Uh. Oh, and I had another mug too, but it's in my backpack somewhere upstairs or in the car. Forgot about that. All right. Then I got this really awesome vintage lamp, which works. It's like a desk lamp. And it does like you, it, the maneuvering. Excuse Bless you. Me. Thank so you. So like you can move the top part. But you can also like swing it around. That. Yeah. That is pretty cool. So it's a really nice lamp. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty awesome, right? Yep. And I think I can probably get about 30 bucks for this, give or take. And it's a tensor. Yep. So that was really cool. I really like that lamp. I just think I like that sort of like just, whoa, the vintage vibe on that. To tell them, it always reminds me of, my, of a lab that my mom used to go to for blood work in downtown Silver Spring on Bonifant Street. The guy's entire office was retro to the 40s That's and awesome. he used to play big band music it was just like stepping into a time machine i got this wheaties tiger woods joe oh cool limited edition 24 karat gold collectibles doesn't sell for that much but anything tiger woods i usually pick up especially if it's sealed like this that's been around a while <clears throat> always check every video game case I got this game for 50 cents. I just opened it up and I knew what that was as soon as I opened it. Minecraft. So just the just the game will probably sell for about 15, 20 bucks. And then I got this hockey figurine. So <clears throat> these are like upgraded starting lineups. McFarlane Toys. I sold an Isaiah Thomas one like this for 30 bucks. So this one kind of comps out all over the place, anywhere from like fifteen to forty dollars, but it's a, it's 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 pretty cool. So I grabbed that, and then hats. USS. Don't forget, Sarnock and I are gonna be doing hat camp coming up this summer. We're gonna show you guys everything you need to know about hats and how to sell them, how to restore them, how to source them. So this is the USS. You Virginia. Go. There you go. Thank you. And it is made in the USA. So it'll say made in the USA on the back of the snapback and on the tag. <clears throat> All right. This one I don't. Uh, this one I just thought was super rad. Ash Ash Asphodel. Asphodel. Forty four. And then the lettering is like that sort of like velvet old school embroidery. That'll sell well on like Grails, <clears throat> Depop. This one is really dope. Look at that. Mm. Golf. I don't know what it, what is it, it is. United? Oh, What's Golf GC. And it's got the rope right there. The nice white lining here. What also is really cool, I just noticed, is it's got this like pocket. Oh, is that where you keep your, your cigarettes on the, on the rig? I don't know, but it's got the mini terry cloth on the inside. It's a really nice hat. It is. 
<clears throat> we also got this vintage Miami Hurricanes fitted hat. So this one is fitted, um, but it does have the Pro Line made in the USA tag. Another thing also you want to look out for is when you see the mascot with the pipe still smoking. That's a good sign of the older Miami. <clears throat> this one's probably going to be for my collection. If you guys don't know, I'm a big Notre Dame fan. This is a Notre Dame corduroy hat. The rope. So, I'll probably clean that up and keep it for myself. This one's really rad. <clears throat> Eureka Lodge Alaska corduroy hat. Corduroy hats are always going to be dope. Always going to be a big pickup. Made in the USA. Hey! Now bless you. Ooh. Thank you. This one's super fresh. Like, never even opened. Hilton Head, South Carolina. <laughs> October 1990. And it is the National Association of Independent Insurance Auditors and Engineers. Good color, though. This one's really cool. Amherst Mini Mart. First. Colony Fuels. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Made in the USA. Oh. I like this one a lot, too. This is one of my favorites. Because <clears throat> I love the patch on there. It's got that Black Panther on the shield over there. Oh, nice. It's made by Cardinal Cap Company. It's a nice one. And this is a really nice one. Okay, so this is one that you guys want to look out for. This is one of the big three. <clears throat> Louisville Manufacturing. That is one of the ones that you want to look for on the snapback trucker hats. This has got the nice threading, white threading. Wilson Art Bennett Supply Company, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nice colorway. It's a really dope hat. And last but not least, well, at least because I'm a Capitals fan and I hate the Penguins, but <clears throat> this will need to be soaked. But it is a Penguin script vintage, uh, the game. So you have the game logo right there and the NHL logo right there. Snap back. That'll, that'll, that'll sell really well. And it'll clean up. A lot of Pittsburgh Penguins fans. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. So, so it's like going to Capitals games. All the Pittsburgh fans. All right. Let's get these hats off the ground. <clears throat> big, big money. Cast iron. So this is Nordic wear. And it's got the four holes on the handle, three holes here. This should sell somewhere between $100 and $130. Uh, and I got it for $10. Bucks. So Cast Iron, this is a new company for me. I didn't know about this company before. I only know about Griswold and uh, Wagner. So I picked it up. I saw the marking. I looked it up. Walked right back to the table and bought it. Pretty stoked about that. So I got that with the Burberry cologne, 12 bucks. Now this is a cool little box that's sort of retro um, green and it says Union right there. Now she said it was her grandfather's used... It's as a cash box. Yeah, at his car dealership. It says 1940s money box on there. And then you open it up. And it's got the... Indoor-outdoor carpet. <laughs> so it's in actually really good condition on the inside. Yeah. It does have some... Well, on the bottom. On the bottom. It creeps cool up a little bit here. But yeah, it definitely cool. adds, the, uh, you know, a little bit of... Yeah. There you go. So that sells for about 30 bucks. I'm going to have to get for that. And then we got the Batman phone. The red rotary phone. Man, that's crazy. I love it. Uh, so the wire is jacked on it, but um, I don't well, think I mean, it's jacked. It got chewed up by something. No, it just doesn't have the jack on it. Oh, no jack on the end. Oh. All right, but that can be replaced. That's easily fixed. Yeah. Uh, and it is a ITT. You can see right there. So hopefully I can get about 40, 50 bucks for that. 
All right. Oh, I forgot to show these yearbooks. I've never bought yearbooks, but I will tell you that when I was going through the, I know uh, John Cincinnati Picker and a bunch of other people sell uh, yearbooks, and they're they're not necessarily like big money, but they can be, you know, good sellers. And when I was going through the books, remember you had those, uh, who was it, Aunt Polly's yearbook? Yeah. And I just looked it up for fun, and they were selling for good money. So I picked these up because they were older. And, Ooh, look at that one. That's what unique. a pretty cover. Let me see the cover. Turn around and look at the cover. This is 1956 Crest. The Crest. Um, so, and it has like all the autographs in there. Everybody wrote in cursive. <laughs> It's crazy. I wonder where this was at. What's where's that at? I don't know. I have to look it up. But it's very interesting. That's for certain. Yeah, fifty six. I was five years old. Look at the football. Look at the, foot, look at the football team. Holy moly! That's pretty cool. It is right. Yeah. And the other one is... The other one is Hargrave. Hargrave. 1967. The and Cadence. His, and his name is on the 67. Turn around, let's see. I was gonna, they did his name. They engraved the guy's name on there. Huh. Frank Hathaway Andrews Jr. Yeah. The 58th year. Presented by the Cadence of 1967. So, so it's a like, military academy. Oh, in Chatham, Virginia. Huh. Whoa. Look at Def the haircuts. Yeah. Definitely very interesting. Yeah. Super cool. <clears throat> and then clothes? Is that where we're at? Yep, clothes. All right. So we got this vintage... Um, I don't know if that's sorority or looks like a sorority. or a fraternity, but it is on a vintage champion reserve re bleh, reverse weave made in the USA. So that'll sell really well, I think. All right, then I got this super rad Wizards jacket, and it is a pro player. Yeah, it's in fabulous condition. That's the front and then the back. Nice. Nice one. And then I got this vintage color block Tommy Hilfiger sweater. So it's got the black on the front, green on the back with the red sleeves. Mm. Nice big Tommy uh, tag right there. Yeah. That'll do. That'll be really nice. This is another dope one. Uh, so this is, as much as I hate Duke, this is the Duke Blue Devils uh, sweatshirt crew neck. This one's going to have to be soaked. But it's on a Santee Sweats by Puma, made in the USA tag. So that'll, be, that'll sell really well. And I got this, which is interesting. I think this was... For um, what is it? Drag drag racing, uh, drag racing pit crew shirt, and it is on a Revy tag made in the USA. It is newer though because it has a website, obviously. <clears throat> but that's interesting. So we'll see how that goes. This one, Liberty University, Lady Flames. Lady Flames. And it is on a vintage Screen Stars tag, made in the USA. And it is single stitched. And this is funny, because when we were walking out, I was like, I like the fade on it. Like, yeah. it kind of makes it look cool, right? Yeah. And then Cernok was like, another saying from the trip, he was like, don't be afraid of the fade, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really cool t-shirt. And then this NASCAR button-up short sleeve. It's got the NASCAR uh, patch, wear uh, Enterprise Racing patch, Winston Cup Series patch, and a Revival Soy patch. And then it's got the patch on the sleeve there. 
And on the back, up top, wear racing. And it is on a <clears throat> Chase Authentics tag. And then this, Eric found them, gave it to me. It's on a vintage champion tag uh, made in the USA. And it is a Appalachian Power Roanoke Division. Red and white. Pretty cool jacket. That will go probably end up selling on Grailed or Depop. All right. Now, this is a funny story. So, if you guys don't know the whole dinosaur bit, uh, I don't believe in dinosaurs, but we'll save that for another video. And everybody knows it. it's like an inside joke in the reselling community. And so, I saw I saw dinosaurs everywhere we went. Oh, oh wait a minute. Dinosaurs and the Bible. The it, Bible don't believe in dinosaurs. Yeah, we're not gonna get into that. Okay, Barbara. okay. We'll it just says the ears. great dinosaur mystery. Let's focus on that part. Okay. okay? Forget about the and the Bible. <laughs> so I saw this, um, and I picked it up, and me and the fellas laughed about it. So then when we met up with Commonwealth Picker, he handed this to me. He was like, "Here, I got this for you." And on the inside, he signed it. To Tim over the years from Commonwealth Picker, 2021, 100 mile yard sale, and then he autographed it. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. That's going in that that's going in the vault right there. Shout out to Kevin, by the way. Huh? Great guy. Had a blast. Oh, uh, so then <clears throat> golf clubs. You're gonna have to come over here, Mom. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Way past my bedtime now. It's... Yeah, right, Ma. You be staying up real late. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You be laying in that bed watching TV. All right. So I got a whole bunch of these. These are the McGregor. You can see it right there. And it is... Col Colacrum Turney M75. And then it has the copper insides. Mm. So I, I got, I didn't get a whole set. I think I have six, I think I have six through nine. This is the nine. Um, this is the special one. Seven, so six, seven, nine, and eight. So I'll probably lot those up together, six, seven, eight, nine. But this one right here, I think, might be a big ticket item. So this is the two irons. So I know that the two irons, three irons, and one irons are kind of uh, harder to find in golf clubs. Same one, and it's got the copper inside. I think this might, I'm hoping this is a $100 club. So we'll see. I did get all of those. And then I also got some King Cobra twos. And this is six, seven, eight, nine, and the pitching wedge are all in there. So that'll be, I'll probably lock those up together and sew those together. Okay. Super stoked. And then the big ticket item of the trip. Again, we have to talk about Duke. <laughs> so I'm probably going to list this for $250, but check this out. Boom. This is a super rare vintage Duke University Blue Devils pennant slash banner. There is not another one out there like this. It is absolutely amazing. And it is made by Chicago Pennant Company which is the, I just sold a pennant from the same pennant company for $50. I, I, I just, I, I almost want to list it for more than $250. But the most expensive one I've seen sell sold for like $299, I think. But it was like Duke 1934 pennant. But, I mean, that is crazy. That is a crazy piece. So I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens with that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the haul from the 100 mile yard sale. I want to give a big shout out to the fellas. My man, Cernok. Cernok drove there, drove back. 
Um, you know, we bunked together in a hotel. Shout out to True Hotel in Lynchburg. Awesome brand new hotel. One of the best hotel experiences I've had in a long time. Um, and then big shout out to Eric, OBX Picker. You know, he's the one that kind of was like, yo, let's go, you know, and just was like, Sir Nock Tim, let's go, let's meet up, let's do it. And we did it, and uh, I'm super grateful. This is my second time. I've, I've hung out with Sir Nock a bunch of times already. I've hung out with uh, Eric once before. So, like, it was great time just to get with the fellas. Um, I, I can't thank them enough for everything. And then Eric drove the whole time during the yard sales. He had the minivan cranking, so... Big shout out to Eric and a big shout out to Kevin, Commonwealth Picker. Um, amazing guy, real guy, like just hilarious, high energy. Can't thank him enough for the hospitality. Uh, we got a chance to eat. We got a chance to check out the Commonwealth cabin. Um, the kids were absolutely hilarious, amazing, just straight up awesome guy. And I wanted to thank him very much for his hospitality, um, for showing us around, for taking care of us. Uh, it, it meant a lot. So... Awesome time, 100 mile yard sale success. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the subscribe bell, all them doodads, and we'll be back Monday nights for our live vintage sale. Thanks again for checking us out. And as always, YouTube, stay classy. classy. Peace. Peace.